everyone and happy Tuesday. Today be to begin our day we're going to be going over our sight words and completing an activity. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to introduce you to the six sight words that we are going to be working with today. We're going to say each sight word either together or you can repeat back after me. So we have hear, mother, read, over, laugh, and away. So these six sight words we're going to be completing two activities with. Our first activity, and you should be used to the pattern by now, is we're going to read the sight word, trace the sight word by saying each letter as we trace it, and then writing the sight word on our own, saying each letter as we write it. The second part of our activity is we're going to be filling in the blank of the sentence with one of the sight words. When we complete a sentence with one of the sight words, we have to remember two things. Does the sentence make sense? And does the sentence sound correctly? So I'm going to first model these two examples on the whiteboard, and then we'll complete two examples on your worksheet together. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to look at my three categories, read, trace, and write. So I'm going to read the sight word below. The sight word is laugh. Remember, when we're not quite sure what a word might be, we would sound out the word, seeing each sound the letter makes, and then smooshing those sounds together. Now I'm going to trace the word laugh. And as I trace each letter, I'm going to say each letter as I trace it to help me remember the sight word and the letters that make up that sight word. So I'm going to trace the word laugh. L, A, U, G, H, laugh. Now I'm going to write the sight word on my own by saying each letter as I write it. So the sight word that I'm writing is laugh. L, A, U, G, H, laugh. That's part one of our worksheet. Read, trace, write. The second part of our worksheet is we're going to be filling in the sentence with one of the sight words above. Remember, our sight words are going to be in a word bank that looks very similar to this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to read the sentence as is with the blank. Did you blank the books? Now I'm going to plug in the sight word here in the blank. Did you hear the books? Now that doesn't really make sense and it doesn't sound correctly. So I'm going to move on to the next sight word and see if maybe that one might work. The next sight word I'm going to try is mother. Did you mother the books? Still doesn't make sense and still doesn't sound correctly. So I'm going to move on to the next sight word read. Did you read the books? Well, it sounds correctly and it makes sense. So read is the sight word that we're going to fill in in the blank. So I'm going to write the word read on the blank. R E A D. Did you read the books? Sounds correctly and it makes sense. So because I already used the sight word read, I'm going to cross it off here. So that's indicating that that sight word has been used and it cannot be used to fill in any more sentences. Now we're going to try this together. Materials that you are going to need is you're going to need the worksheet that's titled, A Bee Flew Over a Flower. On the first side, you would see those three categories, read, trace, and write. And when you flip it over on the back, you're going to see the word bank with the sentences. You're also going to need a pencil. So again, the worksheet that you are going to gather from your packet has the title, A Bee Flew Over a Flower. So you'll see on the front, it has your three categories, read, trace, and write. And then on the back, it has the word bank 
with your sentences. And you're also going to need a pencil. When you have the, all those materials in front of you, or if you need a little bit of extra time, you know to pause the video and then jump right back in. We're going to make sure that we start on the side with the title, A Bee Flew Over a Flower. I'm going to hang my paper right here. There is a spot for your name up top, so remember first and last name at the top of your paper. And then we're going to complete one example on this side together and then one example on the other side together so then you can complete the rest on your own. Alrighty, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to read the sight word that we have here. Then we will trace the sight word by saying each letter as we trace it and then writing the sight word on our own by saying each letter as we write it. So let's read the first sight word. The first sight word is here, okay, here. Now we're going to trace the sight word here by saying each letter. And please trace it with me, here. H, P, R, E, here. Now our third step is we're going to write the sight word on our own by saying each letter as we write it. So now let's write the sight word here together, starting with H, E, R, E, here. And you will complete this process for the next five sight words. Now let's flip our paper over the back so we can complete a sentence together. Let's read the directions at the top together. Choose the word to fit in the space in each sentence. Write it in the space. So over here is our word bank. We're going to be using one of those words from the bank to complete our sentence. The first step is, we're going, well actually we're going to complete sentence number one together. So our first step is reading the sentence as is, okay? So put your books blank. Let's try the sight word here first. Put your books here. Makes sense and sounds correct. So the sight word to get filled in the blank is here. So we're gonna write that here. H E R E. And because we use that sight word to complete that sentence, we're gonna cross it off in our word bank to let us know that that sight word has already been used and we're not going to be using it again. So I just want to go over the directions again so then you can complete the rest on your own. So on the front of your worksheet, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to read the sight word below. Remember, if you're unsure what the sight word is, you're going to sound it out. You're going to sound out each letter and then you're going to smush all your sounds together. So you're going to read the sight word then you're going to trace the sight word by saying each letter as you trace it, and then write the sight word on your own by saying each letter as you write it. That's your first part of your worksheet. The second part of your worksheet on the back is you're going to choose the word to fit in the sentence, to, fill, uh, to fit in the space to complete the sentence. So the first thing that you would do is you would read the sentence as is with the blank. So your blank is here. Then you would go up to your word bank and stop plugging in your sight word. After you're going, as you plug in your sight word in the blank, you're going to see if that sentence sounds correctly and if that sentence makes sense. The first one we just got lucky because the first sight word that we tried actually worked. But say that sight word didn't work, then I would move over to the next sight word and making sure that my sentence sounds correctly and it makes sense. When your sentence does sound correct and your sentence does make sense, you're going to plug in that sight word to complete the sentence and then cross off that sight word in your word bank, which tells you that that sight word has been used and you're not going to be using it again. When you are completed with both sides of your worksheet, you're going to have a parent or an, an adult or an older sibling take a picture so I can see your work that you completed for the day. But before I leave you to complete the rest on your own, let's say our six sight words together. You can read with me or repeat back after me. Here, mother, 
breathe, over, laugh, and away. After you're done completing your sight word worksheet, we're then going to uh, get ready for writing. So I will see you all for our second activity, writing.